let's go ahead and get started. My name is Todd Greenbaum. I am the Assistant Athletic Director of Marketing at San Diego State. Um, I'm also the Spirit Supervisor, so I oversee our band, cheer, dance, and diamonds. Um, so this is a session for you guys to get to know a little bit about each of those um, groups. So we're excited to have you. Welcome to Virtual Explore SDSU. Um, and so without further ado, I think I will turn it over to our band director, Brian Ransom, uh, who can start us off. Good morning, everyone. Um, I have a short video that I created for our virtual SDSU um, that was held last year. And uh, it has most of the pertinent information about the bands on it. Um, I'll just show that uh, video. And then uh, we're going to run down all the other spirit programs. And then at the end, if you want to, we'll circle back with questions uh, that you might have about the band and any of the other groups. Um, I'll also be posting in the chat um, uh, some direct contacts for websites and email addresses uh, that you can contact those groups uh, directly. Um, if you think of anything, questions uh, that are answered after each presentation, you can also just put those in the chat and we'll circle back and answer those. So let me get the presentation going here. Just making sure everybody can hear that. It's coming through. Great. Hello, my name is Brian Ransom, and I'm director of athletic bands at San Diego State University. The athletic bands are comprised of three separate groups, the marching Aztecs, the pep band, and the varsity band. The marching band consists of approximately 250 members from all academic disciplines throughout campus. You do not need to be a music major to participate in any of these SDSU ensembles. There's no audition required for the marching Aztecs wind section. There is audition information available upon request for the drum line, color guard, dance team, twirlers, and SDSU diamonds. The marching Aztecs perform at all home SDSU football games and the occasional away game. We have traveled to a bowl game each of the past 10 seasons to locations such as New Orleans, Texas, and Hawaii. We have always been sensitive to the needs of the college student as it relates to course studies, potential work schedules, etc. To that end, we only rehearse five and a half hours per week. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 4 p.m. to 5.50 p.m. is our rehearsal schedule. You'll need to schedule your coursework around that rehearsal time. There's no uniform fees or other costs associated with marching with us. We provide issue of all marching brass and percussion, sousaphones, baritones, marching French horns, mellophones, all free of charge. We have some ability to issue other instruments, but that is contingent upon the needs of the department for their methods courses and availability varies from season to season. We do not utilize a front ensemble as part of our percussion section. Drumline battery auditions are held three weeks prior to the first day of classes in the fall and band camp begins two weeks prior to classes. Those camps are both held on campus. If you're planning to live in on-campus student housing, we do have the ability to house you on campus for drum and guard camp week and also the two weeks of band camp. You will need to pay for your housing, but it is available in most cases please contact us for more information on housing. Our two other athletic bands are the Pep Band and Varsity Band. The Pep Band performs at all home men's basketball games in our 12,000 seat Viejas Arena, and the Varsity Band performs for the women's basketball games. Auditions for the Pep Band occur during the first two weeks of classes in the fall. There's no audition required for the Varsity Band. Additionally, we offer competitive winter guard and an indoor drum line, the State of Sound, in the winter and spring. Other music ensembles offered by the School of Music and Dance include the Wind Symphony, Symphonic Band, Concert Band, the Orchestra, Jazz Bands, Choral Groups, and numerous small band ensembles. All ensembles are set up with little to no overlap so that you could potentially perform in a multiple array of groups as your schedule permits. For information on the athletic bands, competitive groups, or any of the ensembles, please visit us at bands.sdsu.edu. There you will find some additional information on the ensembles, 
calendar page, the details of coming events, and a membership form so that you can ask us any questions you might have about the bands. We hope that you consider marching with us or joining one of our ensembles. Please don't hesitate to contact us with uh, any questions you might have about any of the groups. Thanks for listening and go Aztecs. <laughs>
for men's and women's basketball. In some, in some instances, we do get requests to go to maybe a lacrosse game on campus or a soccer game on campus or even a volleyball match. And we try to make ourselves available to go to each and every request that we can have on campus so that we can promote the overall spirit and positivity at those games and events. Next slide, please. For our competitive cheerleading side of our program, currently we offer an all-girl competition team, um, which is comprised of 20 athletes that compete on the mat, a small co-ed competition team, which is comprised of 16 athletes, which is up to five males and um, 11 females. And we do offer group stunt and partner stunts for people who would also like to participate in that as well. And um, for those of you who um, are involved in cheerleading, you know that game day has become a new competitive uh, division within cheerleading. So we, in the past two years, have competed the all-girl game day and the large co-ed game day um, divisions at UCA Nationals as well. So each season, we try to make sure that we have a lot of representation that's happening on the mat um, on the nation uh, platform. Next slide, please. So for the costs and benefits for participating in our program, um, the benefits that our athletes get is we do get book loan from the university. Um, cheer camp is provided to our athletes. This usually is a two to three day, sometimes four day um, event that we go to where we're doing basic collegiate techniques, learning our game day material and things along those lines. Um, we have access to the athletic training facility and the trainers um, and you know, making sure that people are in tip top shape and they're performing at the best athletic ability that they can. Um, travel and hotel rooms for football championships and basketball tournaments are also provided to our athletes. We have partnerships with local and national brands that would like to um, be our sponsors throughout the season. So there's different things that come up um, each season that we get, whether it be through, I think we had a partnership with a, a local jeweler one year. We've had partnerships with um, a warm up brand previously in the past. And then our attire, uniforms, and practice gear are also provided to our athletes at, as well. But with coming um, and participating in the cheerleading program, we do have a mandatory program free of $400, which must be paid. Um, and then on top of that, we do require that our athletes fundraise $1,000 um, each season. And this uh, helps to provide some of these costs and benefits that we have, as well as our trip to nationals at the end of uh, our competitive season as well. So we travel to Orlando, Florida for that each season. Um, so that $1,000 helps to go towards that as well. But we do have clinics and sponsorship fundraisers that are coordinated to help offset these costs. So it's not like you have to come up with your own fundraising um, opportunities yourself. We do have some pretty big scale and even some kind of smaller scale sponsorships and clinics that we have set up each season. Next slide, please. So we, we are experiencing a little bit of technical difficulties with our website at this time, but normally um, this is where you would go to find out everything about SDSU Cheer. We have the most updated information in regards to our tryouts and um, anything, clinics, recruitment clinics and things along those lines that are upcoming events for our teams. Right now, we are already in the throes of our tryout process for the 2021-2022 uh, season. So if you are not already involved in that tryout process, unfortunately, you would have to wait until next year to try out for our cheerleading program. Um, but I would recommend that you follow this website uh, religiously if you plan on doing that because all information will be provided here to you in regards to deadlines and timelines for turning in um, video entries and submissions for your tryouts as well as any kind of paperwork that needs to be filled out as well. Next slide, please. And lastly, um, our social media forums. These are just as important as our website that we have. Um, we blast out information all the time in regards to deadlines, tryout information, everything that the cheerleaders will be at. Um, these, it's basically the go-to for any kind of information regarding SDSU cheer. Um, and as it becomes available, this is just the best way to ensure that you'll have the most up-to-date information by following um, these social media platforms. And that's all that I have for SDSU Cheer. Thank you guys for coming out and listening to uh, what we had to share with you for the cheer program. Thank you, Alex. Before we jump into dance, I'll just touch on a question that I saw come in on the chat that Brian answered, but just for everyone in case you're not monitoring the chat, uh, the question was, will the marching band and, and all spirit groups be traveling up um, 
to Carson for 2021 football. So for anyone who doesn't know, we are playing our 2021 season up in Carson at Dignity Health Sports Park while our new Aztec Stadium is being built in San Diego. Um, so uh, the answer to that question is yes, we will be busing our spirit groups up to Carson for one season and then we'll be playing in a brand new state-of-the-art beautiful Aztec Stadium in San Diego in 2022. Um, so good question. Thanks for, for asking that. And now I will hand it off to Tori who will talk to you about our dance team. Hi everyone, I'm Tori. I am the assistant coach of the SDSU dance team and I just am gonna provide a little bit of information about our team. Next slide, please, Brian. So our team um, performs at all home football games uh, with our marching Aztecs. We usually do a pregame performance and a halftime performance and a third and fourth quarter performance. And we also um, cheer alongside our SDSU cheerleaders. Uh, we also perform at all men's and women's home basketball games. And we also do other sporting events on campus. Um, in 2020, we started to perform at baseball games. Um, we've done soccer games, lacrosse games, volleyball, tennis, you name it, we are there. Um, and then we've also had the opportunity to travel to bowl games. Um, we also go to the Mountain West Conference basketball tournament in Las Vegas, and then we have had the opportunity to go to the NCAA tournament and the NIT basketball tournament in the past. Um, we are a competitive dance program and all of our members are incorporated into at least one routine in some way, whether that um, means they're on the floor, or they're an alternate. So we compete in the division 1A category and we compete in jazz, hip hop and the game day categories. Um, we attend UDA nationals, which is in Orlando, Florida. And um, in 2020, we were able to get our first national title in the division 1A hip hop um, division. And then for the first year we competed in the game day category. Um, in the past, we've also competed at USA College Nationals, which is in Anaheim, California, but that's more of a year to year thing. So, um, but every year we attend UDA College Nationals in Orlando, Florida, with the exception of this year. Um, we also participate in a lot of community events, um, both on and off campus throughout San Diego. So some of our events um, that we've done in the past was the Aztec for Life 5K, we've done Chelsea's Voice fundraisers, um, and then we participate in the Aztec's Rock Hunger on campus, um, but we are all over San Diego and we're happy to represent our university whenever we're needed. Um, so some questions that we usually get about our team are what are the requirements to be on the team? So. Um, all of our members must be regularly enrolled students with at least 12 or more units, um, and they must have a current Aztec Recreation Center membership. They must also be selected via a formal audition process, and then you have to register through our online system. Um, so those are the main requirements. And then the commitment level of our team. Could you go back, Brian, please? Um, thank you. The commitment level of our team. So we practice usually around three to four times a week with a minimum of 10 hours. And then we also have weekly workouts that um, are required for our team members. Another question that we get is, um, can you participate in other activities on campus and be on the team? So we definitely recommend that you get the most out of your college experience. It just takes a lot of communication with our coaches and a, a good time management, um, good time management skills to be on the team and participate in other activities, but we definitely want you to make the most out of your time at SDSU. So we don't discourage anybody from joining any other programs. Um, when are our auditions? So we recently just announced that we're postponing our auditions, which usually happen in the spring to the fall um, with the hopes that they can be in person, but nothing is guaranteed yet. So we are hoping that in the fall of this school year um, that we could have an in-person audition. So that leads me to my next question, which is what is the audition format? So last year, um, due to the pandemic, we did a completely virtual um, audition process. So um, that was just due to the pandemic and hopefully we don't have to go back to that. But um, 
for this year, we're hoping to do either a completely in-person audition or um, we would have participants submit a video and then receive an invite to our in-person audition. So it just kind of depends on what the protocols are for our health and safety um, requirements at SDSU, but um, we will be posting all of that information as it becomes available. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can always email us at sdsudanceteam at yahoo.com. We try to get to those emails daily. Um, and then, like I said, we're, we post most of our information on our team Instagram account, which is at SDSU Dance Team, and all of our other social media outlets are on SDSU Dance Team. So um, that's where you can find our most up-to-date information, and hopefully we'll have some information about auditions coming soon. Thank you, Tori. Uh, there are a couple of questions in the chat. We'll get to them uh, at the end here. Um, but for now, we will hand it over to Kai, who will talk to you about the Diamonds major at Dance Team. Kai, take it away. Hi, everyone. Really excited to be here. Uh, my name is Kai Ford, and I'm the captain of the SDSU Diamonds Dance Team. And I'm also here with my co-captain today. Hi, I'm Diamonds co-captain, and my name is Fernie. Yeah, so the SDSU Diamonds are a majorette team that was founded here at San Diego State in 2012. We're actually the first majorette team on the West Coast, and there are a couple of colleges such as Berkeley, CSUN, Long Beach, and a couple of more that followed in our footsteps. Um, oh, thank you. So our slide is up. So we were founded in 2012. Our advisor, her name is Sabrina White. She's the assistant director for SAS, which is Student African American Sisterhood. Um, she's the advisor for the football offense, women's basketball, men's golf, and track and field. So she's well versed uh, in the sports world. We're really lucky to have her, and we love her. We call her Mama Bree. It's very much a family dynamic with the team. Um, let's see. We are the first major ed team in California, the first on the West Coast. Uh, like I said, Berkeley and other prestigious colleges as well are starting to get into major style of dance. And what we do specifically is we dance with the band and to the band's music. So we love our band. Um, for the most part, where they go, we kind of get to go as well. We, for, we perform at football games. We do the half times. We perform in the stands. We're the ones that usually wear the white gloves if you see us. We also do the, we also walk the football players into the game, which is one of my personal favorite parts. We also do um, basketball, volleyball, and any other sport or event that the school asks us to go to, including convocation. We are also lucky enough this year to travel with the football team. We got to go to night this year, some previous years. We went to UCLA and we got to go to the bowl game this year, which were both great experiences. Uh, let's see. And we also have our annual, annual showcase, which is what we put on at the end of the year. It's usually a collab with other orgs on campus. And it's just to showcase the girls' talent and growth throughout the years. Behind me, I have one of our previous dance flyers. It's super cute. Uh, we had about six guests on each side. So it was a jam-packed performance night. Um, it's one of my favorite nights. I love seeing the parents there and everyone. We even have our dance team that comes every year and performs with us. Um, anything else, Fernie? Um, yeah, so basically anyone's open, all genders, all races are welcome to audition. Tryouts we're going to hold out for or hold off for until the fall. Um, we look forward to seeing anyone and everyone there. If you have any questions, feel free to DM us on Instagram. I would say that's what we are most mostly on. We did have a Facebook manager a few years ago, but she did graduate. So um, we're going to be looking forward to giving someone else on our team that position of social media. Um, social media, I'm trying to think of the word, like, oh, coordinator. Relations. Yeah, coordinator. So yeah, if anyone has any questions, feel free to put it in the chat, message Kai or I, or just DM us on Instagram. Yeah, and you can find us on Instagram at SDSU Diamonds. Thank, Thank you. Hey, um, so we will take questions now for any any of the groups. Um, you can either raise your hand uh, or put it in the chat. We'll start with a few that I did see coming on the chat. Um, Tori, during the dance section, there was a question in particular about, uh, will there be any camps or clinics in person this summer? 
Um, we're not really sure if we're going to be able to do anything in person, but um, if you are interested in attending any of our future clinics, you can head to our Instagram um, at SDSU Dance Team, and we have a Google form that you can fill out, and um, we'll contact you about any upcoming dates uh, regarding clinics and auditions. Thank you. There was another question, Tori, for you about uh, the divisions that you do compete in, and, and I guess particularly why do you not compete in the POM division? Is there, is there a reason for the divisions that you compete in? Um, yeah, so traditionally we've always competed at any competition that we've done um, in jazz and hip hop. Um, so at UDA Nationals, you can only compete in two categories out of jazz, POM and hip hop. And then the game day category is separate. So in our game day ca category, um, if you wanna check it out, it, we have it posted to our Instagram, but we do incorporate a lot of POM into that. Um, we did part of our band routine that we did at the home football games. Um, so we have a lot of POM incorporated into that routine, which kind of gives us a little taste of all styles um, for our competition season. Okay, we'll stick with you for one more, Tori, and then I have one for Brian in the chat. Uh, but first, for the dance team, can you talk a little bit about fees and fundraising requirements? Sure. So we, um, similarly to cheer, we do ask our dancers to fundraise um, some money to cover the costs of competition um, and just other fees that may come up uh, regarding like uh, competition costumes. Um, and then we also have monthly dues for our team. Um, I can put the website in the chat um, so you can take a look, look at that for more information. It kind of gives a breakdown of all the fees. But yeah, so we do ask that our members pay monthly dues and then we have a fundraising requirement as well. But I'll put that um, information in the chat right now. Thank you, Brian, for the band. A question, did you discuss the marching band auditions for this year or how do you join? Um, there is no auditions required for winds, woodwinds or brass. Um, the schedule for the other auditions um, can be found on the website, which is bands.sdsu.edu. Um, the drumline auditions uh, are scheduled as of now for August 2nd through the 6th. And uh, that will be color guard auditions as well. And then band camp starts the week following on August 9th and goes for a week and a half. So just to be clear, to join the marching Aztecs, Brass and Woodwinds, you do not need to audition, correct? Brass Woodwinds do not need to audition. You just need to have some prior experience, uh, preferably in marching band. Great. Are there any other questions for any of our groups? Cheer. Uh, dance, band, or diamonds. If you scroll up in the chat, you'll see there's uh, email contacts that I posted for each of those groups. So if you have questions that you think of after this, uh, after this meeting, feel free to reach out, please. There are a few more questions coming in now. A um, couple for you, Brian. Um, let me see, what will band camp look like this year? Hopefully it'll look very similar to it has um, in the last 34 years that I've been on campus. Um, we are, uh, things are loosening up as far as restrictions. Um, we're prepared to, um, you know, still follow what our guidelines are set, but uh, we're hopeful that we'll be able to have a full, full band camp, uh, campus held on campus. Um, as I said, it was a, it's a week and a half. Um, it goes eight to four uh, the first week and four to eight on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that second week before school starts. Um, and uh, so that's what, that's what we're aiming for, but we're ready to, we're ready to adjust if need be. Brian, are there any temporary dorms for marching band camp? There's a question about that. Yeah, those people who are in dorms uh, need to contact me. Your first order of business, if you're definitely planning to uh, enroll in the marching band, um, make sure you've submitted your intent to participate form, which is on the website. Um, once I get that form, um, you also need to email me and let me know that you have applied for housing. Um, after you have applied for housing, I can then put you on the needs housing for camp week list. And um, it's, it, it's, as I said in the video, it's on you to pay for those um, days that you need 
but it's uh, they have been accommodating and letting you move into your dorms. Typically, it's not the dorm that you stay in for the whole year. Um, there's only one or sometimes two dorms that are open uh, prior to school starting. So you may be in a temporary space for those weeks of camp and then move out on that Thursday, Friday before school starts into your actual dorm. All right, Tori, back to you. Uh, will the dance team be competing in nationals next year? Um, the short answer is we don't know yet. Of course, we would love to, but um, we know like the health and safety of our community at SDSU is the most important right now. So we're just waiting on guidance from our university. And um, if we are able to go, of course we will. So um, it just kind of depends on the regulations that are put out by our county and our university. Sticking with you, Tori, are there requirements needed in order to try out for the dance team? For example, flexibility, dance training, things like that. Um, so all of that information can be found on our website. We also have, um, I believe we still have our old audition video requirements. So that can kind of give you a breakdown of what you might be asked to see um, if we do have an in-person audition. Um, so yeah, just head to that link that I sent over earlier and that should tell you a lot about um, what requirements are needed to try out. Sticking with you, Tori, um, will the dance team be attending camp in August, seen as um, trials have been pushed to the fall? Yeah, um, so again, we don't really know yet what our travel um, abilities will be going forward. Um, but typically when we do attend UDA camp, um, it's just our returners or our upperclassmen. So it wouldn't be a, really a problem for um, our new members auditioning in the fall. We kind of catch them up as they come. And then last question for dance here, at least for the moment. Um, are, are game day dancers and competitive nationals dancers two separate teams? Um, no, we are one team. And like I said earlier, we try to incorporate everybody into our nationals routine um, in some sort of way, whether that be they're one of our 16 dancers on the floor or they um, are an alternate. And since we've been competing in the game day category, we're able to have every dancer on the floor. So that um, gives everybody an opportunity to be involved in some way. Thank you. Back to Brian. How do we, how would you sign up for the band to attend band camp? Uh, the intent to participate form on the website, which is bands.sdsu.edu. Um, there's a membership form on there as well, which some people confuse as the intent form. Make sure you click on the intent form that gets us all the just basic information that we need. Um, once I receive that form, I'll, I'll, hit you back and make and so you know that we've received it that then goes into our database and uh, you'll be contacted by section leaders um, throughout the summer with uh, updates about camp and that kind of thing and then also brian is there an additional cost for temporary dorms for marching band camp and how do meals work in that situation yeah um it's i believe it's a weekly charge maybe a daily charge but it's a weekly charge i it's that you'll have to deal directly with the housing and administration office uh for those uh answers. And I know from years past, the meal plan doesn't start until um, I think a couple days before school starts. So you'll be on your own for meals um, until that time. But there's plenty of, uh, you're in the dorms, there's plenty of food uh, that can be found around uh, campus. Great. Obviously, this is a bit of an unknown. I'm not sure how well uh, Tori or Kai, you could answer this. Um, but the question is basically um, outside of cheer, who's who's going through tryouts uh, sort of as we speak, uh, when will we know more about timing for tryouts in the fall? Hey, yeah, so for us, we are on the same page as the dance team. We're just waiting for regulations to come back with the school. For now, our hope is to just get things started sometime in the fall, hopefully early fall, but we'll definitely keep everyone up to date on our Instagram. Um, that was perfectly said. I, we are on the same page as the Diamonds. Um, we're just waiting for those um, green lights to go ahead and move forward. Um, but uh, like Kai said, we're hoping to have it early fall, um, but that is subject to change. So just keep checking our website and keep checking our Instagram because that's where we'll have the most up-to-date in information. Actually, um, so 
if Bandcamp is the ninth, I feel like, you know, normally we've been participating in that. So hopefully to shoot or aim before that would be nice. But if the, if the regulations again go for that, you know, only band band <laughs> does band camp, then it's gonna look different, so. Any other questions? Looks like we've answered them all. Thank you everyone for coming. Uh, thank you to all of our coaches and captains who, who talked you through this. I uh, hope that you found this helpful. Brian did leave, like he said, emails and links in the chat. If, if anyone would like to uh, visit any of the sites or reach out directly, please feel free to do that. Um, Brian or anyone else, anything to add before we jump off here? No? Well, thank you again. Yeah, please and make sure you're asking questions, guys. And we, we are happy to answer any questions you have. So reach out, please. All right. Well, with that ringtone, um, we will we will get off here. So thank you again, and go Aztecs. Thank you. Go Aztecs. Bye.